What's going on guys and welcome to a brand new factory game called Tectonica. As you know, I've been wanting to play this now for some time. We played the early alphas and all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I didn't want to spoil it too much because I was waiting for the early access release. But now it's time. As of July 18th, the game will be officially launching on Steam. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description if you want to go and check out that out, wishlist it, pre-order it, or even purchase it. So welcome to episode one, and as you can tell, the Firehose Games team has very kindly sent me an early access to the early access. So you guys get to see what it's all about, get a bit of a grasp, but I'm not going to go too much into the story in the first week or so, just because, um, you know, I want you guys to experience it yourselves as well. So without further ado, let's start a brand new game and see where this alien world is going to take us so as you can see tectonica is in early access you may experience bugs and performance issues we know this we know this so everything that we come across there will be some visual bugs all this kind of stuff you guys if you're watching this channel you, you know what, how to expect and what to expect by now you've awoken in a mysterious facility with no memory of your existence emerge and build a sprawling factory to manufacture the machines and tools you'll need to explore this alien world warning structural integrity failing oh. Okay. Emergency resuscitation of all personnel initiated. We're in. Exit this facility and report to production terminal Lima. Head to terminal production Lima and we can already see some form of factory and bioluminescence. You guys know I'm a sucker for bioluminescence. See some belts, see some smelters, some inserters down here. And over there, see some miners mining away with the iron. Got some copper over there as well. And some little potato rocks. <laughs> but what have we got in here? We've got some things. All our standard keybinds are down here. So let's press space bar and collect all of them and pick up our pickaxe. So this is going to be a full blown series on this channel. Um, it's a game I'm highly hyped about, and we will be following the progress of this throughout development of early access. So if you want everything news, everything game wise uh, regarding this, uh, I'll definitely be covering it for you, and you'll be the first to know whenever I find out something. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Your suit can't transmit a voice or ID signal, but my sensors are indicating you're out there. First things first, check in at that production terminal. I need a second set of eyes on how badly damaged it is. Look at this. Look at... Wait a minute. I can go into settings now and toggle... I've just cut it back on. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I'm not going to lie. I think this might be our thumbnail for the today's video. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? But look at this. The bioluminescence. This was so dark in the alpha. Obviously, I've seen a little bit of what, what they've done since the alpha because we did a developer interview uh, on, on the Twitch streams a couple of weeks ago uh, in preparation for this. And uh, it was going on for about an hour and a half and... It's looking good. Maybe some spoilers was leaked in that regarding some stuff that was happening. And uh, yeah, let's start with our adventure here. So let's go over to this terminal and see what you've got for us. We need iron ore and we need copper ore. Okay, we can do that. The terminal is cooked. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try crafting a few with materials from some of the chests around here. Let's grab some of that because one, biomass. So we need to build... A couple of mining drills and over here on the left hand side build and place a mining drill at nearby iron vein or copper vein okay so let's make four and they're up in the bottom right hand corner now so they're being built and they will build the uh items they need to build it as well very much like how factorio works with the uh the building mechanics in that and then we can kind of uh just kind of place one Cast there place drill. one there must be built at an ore vein and fueled with plant matter Plant matter. Let's get more plant matter. Got more of this. Can I hold E? Let's see if that works. I don't think it does. No, I've got to tap E instead. But I can do it pretty fast. It's pretty quick. It'll be nice, uh, maybe as a feature, uh, just to hold E. Just for accessibility purposes for people. Um, but we're still in early development on all that stuff. So let's put fuel in there. Oh, let's put you in there. Okay. So they're just making our ore now. You can see that's going up. Fuel is going down pretty quick. And let's actually head over here to these copper ones and put some copper over here. While well, the mine is over here for these copper ones. Let's put you there. And uh, let's put some fuel into there. And some fuel into there. And start getting some copper. 
gather. Nice. So I can press Q and actually hide my uh, items in my inventory and grab some of all this. Kindle vine seeds as well, because we can actually automate biomass stuff with seeds and all that kind of stuff. If you saw my early alpha video uh, last year, obviously a lot of things might have changed since then. And I know for a fact have changed since then. So I'm super excited to see where this journey is going to take us. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy the ride as well, because we're going to build some mega factories because it's me. I do factories extremely large as you guys know by now and uh i'm looking forward to it like i said where this is going to take us as well so now we've got them going we just need to get some copper ore from here so let's just grab it from the inventory there and that and let's go and grab some copper one as well like so and like so and let's just put some more uh fuel into these ones like that and now we should have enough to actually repair this 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 whole building's changed i remember there used to be like some stairs to go up and you used to have the cores like on a little platform in there uh, and all that kind of stuff so um let's throw you in and you in let's repair the terminal good work getting Boom. that ore plugged into the terminal groundbreaker <laughs> if you weren't on my crew you should have been hi sparks for the next phase of repairs you're gonna need a scanner the tech for it unlocked automatically when you fix this thing so Open up your crafting menu and build one. I, I, I like the sound of her voice. It's very um, audible. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's very audible. Um, anyway, so we need to make, uh, we need to craft a scanner. So we're going to jump into our thing here. We can see a production, logistics, base building, intermediates, and equipment. Uh, and obviously we can be, build all these by hand, but for example, if we need to produce uh, our, uh, uh, our extractor here, it will actually automatically make, as you can see, the iron components is in orange. So if we do choose you know, to build like, for example, a research core, it will build these alongside. Like I said, very similar to how Factorio works it, and it's a good mechanic, and I'm glad they've kind of added that to the game. And it saves the time of click, 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 build, 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 go to that one, build. It's so much simpler, so much easier, and I think you guys would agree with that. So we want to build a scanner. So let's quickly grab one of them. It's in our inventory. Scanner. Scan machine fragments to restore tech tree access. And let's just start scanning things. Um, and we can scan these now, can't we? Yeah. Scan three fragments. Kind of clean up the area with it as well. Let's get rid of all of these. Oh, there's a... Ch oh. Upgrade module scan. Upgrade module. There's Additional another one here as well. Tiers or cores may be required. Open tech tree to review. Some iron. Is that is that copper? Oh, that's a copper frame. Copper frame. Just so I can get any ex, uh, electronical components, iron components, and copper components. Just so I can kind of visually understand what each item is now. Um, and that's obviously the iron frames as well. Okay. Oh boy. Are these the cores? Oh my god. These are the research cores. They're kind of cool, but oh boy, have they changed in size. They used to be like small. They used to be on like a little platform with like a little little chip in it. Like a little blue little blue, blue cube. They're kind of cool though. Kind of remind me of like a reactor. Let's empty these chests though real quick. Oh, uh, and now we've got to make 20 ingots and 20 copper ingots. But for to do that, we actually need a smelter. And a smelter needs eight uh, core points. And we've only got one right now. So we need to make seven more. Warning. So Research cores required for activation yeah, of new Yeah, I'm doing it, you Refer spoon. Tech tree for current core one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I made seven. I know I can right click on this. Uh, yeah, I can shift left click to make 15, right click to make five, and all that good stuff. So let's put these down to like that and place you there. Can I place you on top of that? Or is that going to be in the way? Because I have a feeling this might get a little bigger. Research cores constructed. There we go. Smelter technology available for activation in tech tree. So now that's unlocked the smelter. If we hold, we can unlock that. Now we should be able to place activated. that down if we once we make Proceed some. With construction of smelter. So let's make one, two, three, four all together. We'll put two for these two iron, and we'll make two more for them iron. Uh, I don't know the numerical value of what's going to be consumed, so how many of these make per minute yet. We're not going to look into that just yet until we start looking into full automation from smelter to grabber to belt to grabber to machine we're not going to look at that stuff yet i don't want to overcomplicate things for those that are new to factory games and all that kind of good stuff as well so now that we've got two smelters let's just place one two right smelter. there and then with ore to produce ingots. we're going to put some fuel into there plant matter for fuel. like so and then we're going to grab you grab you 
and then place you guys into here as well just like that now that is the iron sorted so next up we're gonna need some more biomass so let's just kind of grab what we need to grab and every time i remove these plants that's actually removing the light from the area as well so we're gonna make sure we put some lights down at some point otherwise it's gonna get pretty dark i love this river look at this just going through here now that never used to be a thing it used to be so brown it used to remind me of borderlands one when i first uh saw tectonic except everything was brown it was dull uh, all that kind of stuff now there's so much contrast with oranges and blues and purples it's really really nice and they've they took it in the right direction because that was my only complaint when i first played it last time was it needs to be a bit brighter um and all that kind of good stuff but i'm glad they've done it and uh it's a good direction they're kind of taking it and by the looks of this they're taking it in the right direction with new machines and like that whole building changing and all that kind of good stuff so right let's throw this down over here um or to rotate place you there place you there we're gonna throw you into there like so i'm just gonna put that in there uh, copper in. We'll grab the copper from here as well. And let's throw you into there and you into there. Get that going. Get the copper being done. We should have enough iron. We do. We've got 25 in there. And we've got 25 in there. Now all we need to do is just throw that into the terminal. Like so. And then grab the uh, copper. And then quickly put that into there as well. And then... Oh, I need 20. Damn it. Thought I needed uh, 15. Never mind. But now we can throw that in there. Upgrade the terminal. Terminal upgraded. Bada bing, bada New bosh. technology and crafting schematics available. Cool. So now we've got supply and maximize the production terminal by depositing two containers, four inserters, 30 iron ingots, 30 copper ingots, and 45 conveyor belts. So we, should, we might be able to do that. So we need one, two, one, two, three, four. As many as them we can do. I've got the hiccups. I apologize. Let me grab some more ingots and grab some more copper as well. They should allow me to make some more conveyors. And then I needed, uh, oh, just ingots in general. So we need 30 iron and 30 copper. I just need more copper. I just need you guys to hurry up a little bit. 25, I need five more. So I guess I'll just stand here and wait. And, oh, okay. That's that done. So now we've unlocked this. Uh, throw you in there, you in there, you in there, you in there. Convey belts 45 and upgrade. Beacons are back on Nice. Inspect the radio console right next to the screen. It'll start beeping and blinking in three, two, one. Oh. Lights come on. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Life sign. Life sign. Access to all local facilities should be restored, including the one I've been stuck in this entire time. I've set an unlock code to the door. Huh? I've got some tech you're gonna oh. like. And I know you wouldn't dream of leaving without me anyways. Okay. So we've got to follow the beacon to the secured facility. A little bit of a story mission now. God, this is nice. It's nice. And yes, for those wondering, it is a fixed world. Um, so every time you start in a game, it's not randomly generated. It, it is a fixed word just because of the sake of the story progression. The story is going to be in the same location. But there is a item called the Mole, which allows us to terraform. So we can dig through here. Uh, but anything that is manually built, for example, these rivers and all this kind of stuff, we won't be able to change direction of rivers or, or that stuff for now. I did uh, ask the question to the uh, dev team when I interviewed them. Uh, and they just said, not yet or maybe never. <laughs> I don't know why, but these computers feel like second nature now. Look at this. Sort of the opposite of what I remember it being like. I'd be the one to get you out of a situation like this instead of the other way around. But I'm not giving up. That's how I know it's still me in here. Oh. You'll see. Wait, is that a, that's the mole? How do I get in here? I need more power, apparently. Oh, this one's lit. Okay. Let's go down here. Oh, God. This is reminding me of dead space right now. Like something's going to drop from the ceiling. And just to clarify, those that are hiding behind a cushion right now, just in case you think that's going to happen, it won't happen because there's no enemy mobs. So you don't have to worry about that. This is kind of spooky, though. Casualties Hello? detected. Hello? Oh! What? You've never seen someone stuck inside an alien cube <laughs> next to their own dead body before? Hi, Sparks. 
Whatever I was trying to do here, I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it didn't work out. Hopefully, it was worth a shot. Let's go. That's kind of cool. So we're just gonna carry around sparks in our pocket now? That's great. That's great. Can't hear my footsteps, though. Why could I not hear my footsteps walking on? That was weird. So now we've just got- we've picked up Sparks, which is going to be our guide, I guess? Stop. Oh. Scan the fragment in that cage by oh. the stairs before we go. We'll need that tech to get out of the sector. Nice. Scan complete. The mall tech now available. Beautiful. And conveyor belt mark twos. But now we just need the, uh... To actually build. Local signal deciphered. Sector headquarters. Report to production terminal mode. radio for triangulation. Sounds like the terminal is fully rebooted. Check the radio console again and see if the beacon it adds to your HUD gives us a clear path home. Bing. Signal triangulated. New location added to HUD. Production terminal, Victor. Oh Breaker. right. This is the time to activate the mole in your tech tree and build one. We won't be able to cut through to Sector Victor without it. Yeah, I remember now. So this is Lima. And if we go to our tech tree, right on the, on the left-hand side, we can see Lima, 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 Lima. So everything here we can actually build because we've got that terminal. Here, we've got Victor, 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 and or so on and so forth. And that means we can unlock everything else from there as well. So, you know, these are kind of like our uh, milestones. We need to un unlock them via all that kind of stuff by unlocking them and stuff. So, uh, yeah. So now we need to make the uh, the mole. So we need to go into here and the mole, 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 which is going to be in terraforming. And we need seven more cores so we can make. I've got I've got six available. So let's make one more. Let's head over here and uh, store them into my little cave right here, like so. And now we should have unlocked the ability to construct the mole because we've got seven points. So let's make the mole. Task inbound. Mole. Manipulates terrain for traversal and composition of industrial construction sites. Let's craft one as well. And we should be able to put that down. I'm going to attach that onto my hotkey too. And now I've got this. And this is how we make our own rooms and make our own um, designs and everything compared to other players. So if we wanted to, uh, like, you know, everybody's factories are going to be different. And I'm, this tool right here is going to be the one that defines people's uh, creativity. Because we can already see in the tech tree right here that the mole has got some other things going on to it. But we, we need to unlock Victor first, which we need to find the other station. And that we can unlock um, the mole and flatten. I don't know what that symbol is. Oh, I need to scan it. Okay, so we actually need to find this actually attachment before we can actually unlock it. So that's cool. And then it will tell us how many cores we need. This either being blue or, you know, pink. So... Now that we've done that, we need to head into that direction. But I think first, before we go anywhere, is I just kind of grab any iron that I've got left over and fill these machines up just so I've got these running whilst we're away. Uh, so we do have stacks of 250, which is the maximum for each item, it seems. Uh, but maybe different for some others. And then let's fill up the copper one as well. So let's grab some copper from here and there. And let's just put them into here, just like this. And actually, we should be able to um, get a conveyor belt right have i got enough items to make some inserters i do but are you gonna need power i would think you're gonna need power i don't think you're gonna need power let's just make a couple of them anyway i would think they do and a couple of a uh, couple of belts and then if i was to go like from uh outport rotate you to go to there Task inbound inserter use inserters to transfer items between machines and conveyor belts i don't think i've got enough room to put oh i do there you go. So they're just going to pass that along. Beautiful. So they don't actually need power. So I can just kind of just leave that doing its own thing. And by the looks of this, it looks like it could be a two to one ratio. One goes in, I think. Because that technically should have continued there. But this is only our little starter setup. I'm not really fussed until we get down to the nitty gritty and start working on the good stuff. Right. So I want to put down a little belt from there. Uh, rotate it to there. Just like that. And that insert is going to bring that onto the... Like so. I could if I wanted to. Just put another one there. Um, craft myself some more inserters. And then let's just have a look at this. And let's see if this one keeps uh, up to date with the items. Which I would think it would. Oh, it's got stuck at the end. <laughs> There's always going to be one at the end of the belt. Always. They're like little pizzas. 
kind of like little pizzas, you know? So yeah, it's the speed of the input. So it's definitely a two, a two out, two in sort of deal. And then we'll do the same up here as well. And we can kind of just leave them going. Uh, and I'm going to fill them with uh, fuel at the same time as well. This is going to be a little bit longer. Just to kind of put you into there, you into there, you coming out, you coming out. Nothing needs to be tidy right now. This is just for pure science. Um, technically, I could just do that and that. And that's automatically merged as well. So the merger has gone straight onto the belt. And now there's iron going onto there. And now the both is going to work the way in there, right? But obviously, these are... F well, it's not full right now. Why are you not uh, putting in? Ask the question. Is it because you? Is it because of the full of iron? Is it because there's a lot? Oh yeah, it's because there's a lot of iron already in it. Okay, I thought it might. That might be the case. So if that's going in there, then I could technically um, let's make five more of you and a couple more storage boxes. No, I'm make ten more. We always need more items. <laughs> and then we put down one going from there. One going from there, and then we just need the storage containers. I'm going to put you at the copper one, you at the copper one, and then we can just put a storage box here and a storage box there. So they're not just going to be sat there with it in its hand. And then the same for that one, and the same for that one. And now we can just leave that as we go and do our little mine. We've got a little bit of a tiny automation system going here. It's kind of cute, and it's very small, and it's definitely not very me. So... You better believe we're going to be doing some mega structures later on and we're bringing in hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of smelters and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. So right now we need to get our mole and head over here and kind of head to this beacon. So we're just going to follow this terrain along. We can kind of see like a five by five grid and a five uh, height as well. We're just aiming at the wall and then... Bulletin. This mall is not authorized to destroy Boom. resources, critical infrastructure, nice. or protected environmental areas. And we can just kind of make our way through here. And head to the opening. Cool. So we can kind of see the tunnel we're actually making on the map up the top. We can see we're, we're leaving like a purple trail. And we're just going to keep following this river along until we get to that. It looks like there's an entrance over there. Let's see if we can try and get to that. Overheated. I'm going to guess there's going to be modules we can actually equip onto the mole. So the heat doesn't uh, go up as much. Or uh, we can disperse the heat, uh, the heat a little bit more as well. Okay, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can see terrain. It's kind of made like some steps going up. Like so. Look at this place. Another river going through here. It's another room. But it looks like I want to be going this way. Oh, I can't. There's iron right there. So we've got to try and avoid that iron. And maybe go through here instead. I don't know how far this iron's going to come out of here. Whoa. I, I don't understand. A factory the size of a city is supposed to be here. It was right here. I know it was. Look at this. Where is everybody? This is bloody gorgeous. Look at this. They've done so much work on this. There's even a waterfall and everything. So this is Victor. This is a lot bigger than the other one. I kind of like the industrial kind of vibe to it as well. Another scanner. Tech now available. Oh, Flatten is now available. Stirs. That's a core composer. Which means we can put the things on that, the, the core things. Stirs, power flooring. Now that you've got a core composer, all you need is a big enough power floor and a few crank generators to power it. After that, you'll be able to dump cores into it and never worry about placing them one at a time again. Task nice. inbound, core composer. Supply with research cores via belts and inserters for automatic placement and availability. Look at the size of this. It's huge. It's bloody huge. Okay. Can I interact with this? I need 500 ingots and 500 copper ingots. This terminal is trying to reach out to 100 facilities that might not exist anymore. If we can repair it, we might be able to decipher where those facilities are located. Our people are out there, just like we were. I wouldn't ask you to rebuild this sector for the expedition, but I will ask you to do it for them. The faster we get on these signal and repair objectives, the better our chances of finding them will be. Have a look at some of the new stuff on your tech tree. Keep your eyes out for fragments, and let's get to work. 
Deciphering this first signal by building power floors looks simple enough. I'm sure it won't be that many. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure? Hmm. Well, we're here. We found Victor. So, anyway, I think with all that said and done, I think it's time for us to call this video here. And then the next time we're going to get into the crunch of things and start working on our start of our main factory. Uh, well, I say main factory, but the starter factory we're going to start producing now. Uh, because the world is now our oyster. Uh, we've got the uh, Victor terminal here and we can start earning through our milestones. Start working on power and all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in another video. So keep smiling and I'll see you then.